did you ever think about what would happen if you were unemployed for more than a year? Ever stop to wonder about how it'd feel to be drowned in debt just because you don't have a stable job? I'm sure these are all things that you haven't even thought about, let alone imagined. Yet this is a case for so many people on our planet. My name is Donna Chung and I'm here to talk to you about unemployment and why it's a problem worth more than just thinking about. As of February 2019, more than 1.3 million individuals in the United States alone were unemployed. Why? One reason could be lack of education. 35% of available jobs require at least a bachelor's degree. Not everybody went to college or has graduated from college, so that bunch of people cannot apply to 35% of the jobs that are supposed to be available to them. Another reason could be downturns in the business, also known as cyclical unemployment. Cyclical unemployment is when customers or consumers buy less products from certain companies. Then that company doesn't need to make as many products that are not even going to be sold at all. So those extra workers end up fired without a job. The most important thing about unemployment, however, is that when it comes, so many negative effects come along with it. Without a job, people cannot afford necessities such as food, shelter, and health care. This significantly decreases the quality of life that the unemployed people have to live. However, money and finances aren't the only thing that people struggle with. Mentally, those who are unemployed are more likely to fall into stress and depression. More than a quarter of those who were categorized as long-term unemployed fell into depression, and only a quarter of that quarter reached out to professionals to help with their mental well-being. A little while ago, I read an article about a man named Childress. Childress was unemployed for more than 10 months. In the article, he describes unemployment as, it's like being thrown into a hole, and you're climbing to get up, but it's greased. There's no way of getting out. If we are the people who are just glancing at that hole and walking away, we will never help change the circumstance that these people have to face every single day. So instead of sh staring into that hole, reach into that prison and help them come out. True, we can't just march up to big brands like Chipotle and demand that they hire more employees, but we can donate to organizations such as Chrysalis. Chrysalis educates unemployed people so that when they return to the workforce, they are more qualified and educated. But remember this. If you decide to take anything away from my talk, remember that you had more than just a simple decision. You had the potential in changing someone's total lifestyle in which they can thrive and grow while simultaneously making a better person out of themselves. This way, they can make their own unique impact on their own unique world. Thank you.